with that. St. Louis is filled with many iconic places that are packed with history that you may or may not have known about. I know I'm still working on some of that history. We have Malik Wilson introducing us to an author who recently released a new book shining a light on the Webster Groves community and the history packed within the six square miles. And Malik, this is something that people that might even be from here might not know about. That is exactly true. And I'm right there with you, uh, Mary. So I've been here a year, just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I still have a ton that I need to learn about. But um, my summer goal this year was to pick up a book and read it. I don't read a lot, sorry about it, but I'm trying to get there. So I have marked this down on my things to do and books to read. And just imagine yourself going back in history, each page that you turn and learning something truly, truly incredible. That's exactly what you're gonna get with this book. You guys have gotta check this out. History lessons are typically taught in schools or even by visiting your favorite grandparents' house. But author Don Corrigan is rewriting the narrative. Well, Amazing Webster Groves has been 40 years in the making. Now, of course, Corrigan hasn't been writing the book for the past 40 years. Instead, the idea came about during the pandemic. Well, the inspiration was partly because when the pandemic came along, we shut down the pa paper, the print version, for a few months. And I was just wandering the hallways going, what am I going to do with myself? Well, that would be to begin writing the story of The Amazing Webster Groves. It's a new book that really talks about the history, not just of Webster uh, store town here, but also Old Orchard. And the list goes on. There's like five different areas of Webster Groves that history, so there's lots of train stations. It's a train town. It's one of the first suburbs that were built along the railroad tracks. Um, but the newspaper is a great source for the book, and it, we've interviewed so many people and done so much history. So the book uh, highlights about 80 personalities from the past. Like? TV entertainment, we've got um, some of the earliest uh, people on television, right? like Charlotte Peters, the Noonday Show, are, uh, of course, that zany comedian, Phyllis Diller, who just lived up the street on Joy Avenue. Uh, this way, on Cedar, we had Texas Bruce in that direction. And in between every direction are iconic locations. Well, as you head down that way, you get into what's kind of the educational district. So you have Eden Seminary, where some of the famous theologians who are well known in our time went. We have Webster University, a school that sired people like Marsha Mason, the famous goodbye girl actress. The list with that too goes on. As you can see, the story is jam-packed and filled with enough history to fill a book, no pun intended. Now the ultimate question is how you get your hands on a book. You can get your hands on this book by coming right up the stairs and seeing my buddy Randy and Kent who uh, are selling books, but we also have them at the bookstores, uh, the Novel Neighbor, on the Old Orchard end of town. On this end of town, we have the Webster Groves Bookshop. So it's available also on Amazon and all the usual cases where you can go. All right, such, such amazing stuff, like I said. Uh, you guys can purchase a book by visiting those three websites as well as some other popular uh, websites that are out there. You can also head over to Webster Groves and uh, I think it was you could head to the Times there and uh, head upstairs, get your book that way. Um, Dana, I mean, sorry, Mary, geez, <laughs> still getting used to you here. Oh my goodness. Hey, but. I get it. New girl in town. New girl in town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, yes, that's an amazing book. And um, like I said, I got to get my hands on a copy and check out some amazing history here. Webster Absolutely. Girls is a cool place. And Malik, I love that you said that you're trying to read. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to read more too. I think we could all read a little bit more. Let's start a book club. How about <gasps> that? Shouldn't we? That'd be we kinda we cute. can do it. We can do it. We could uh, call it "Show Me Books." Show me books. <laughs> show, show me how to read. Okay, that's very literal. That could work too. I like that. I like that. All right, and now for our.